Hey YouTube, welcome back again. Uh, today I had a big surprise when I arrived home after a trip to the Belgian North Sea coast. Uh, I saw that there was an update waiting in my car and the update was 2024.20.6.2 and when I looked at the description I saw that Auto Park was included and I installed it so it was just half an hour installation and when I came back I tried it out just have a look at the next examples this was my first test uh, next to the church in the village I found the first spot and look when you drive slowly a parking spot is popping up you press start and then the car is doing its thing it's parking backwards in the available space this was a very simple one marvelous For my next attempt, I went to a supermarket. Uh, it was actually closed, but there were a few parking spaces available. And as you can see, I'm coming closer to a row of parked cars. And immediately two spaces pop up. Select one, start, and then the car will drive backwards in that available space. The fact that it drives in backwards makes it easier to leave again, and that's nice. There it goes, in two steps, it parks perfectly. The third test was nearby in the same public parking of the supermarket. So the car is showing all the available spaces when you pass them. And then next to that Mercedes, I want to park backwards. So I select the space start and then the car is turning in backwards and safely sliding next to that car you can always stop by pressing brake of course and then it pauses and you can continue but i've never had any problem yet you must watch carefully what he's doing, but it's doing it so well. I start to trust it already from the first day. And then the fourth test I did was again on a street in town, in front of a dealership. You can see that the parking spaces pop up again between the two cars. There it is, we select it. I wait for a car passing by. 
And when it's gone, I press start and it will use the blue space. Parallel parking. It does it a bit slower than I would normally do, but it should take a time. Perfect job. And then the last test for today was a very special parking. So it was a, a public parking between houses and you will see the parking spot I select is really at the back of this parking. Most cars are parked in forward but when I select that space behind the other cars the car will maneuver until it's going in backwards. Takes quite a while, but you will see it has not so much space and it's moving many times until it's completely turned. I would park in frontwise, but it selects to do it always backwards, the perpendicular parking. And the wipers go. <laughs> A few more maneuvers forwards, backwards. It was not the easiest choice but it did the job. And now we're almost there. It's setting up to move backwards again and move into the parking space. Still a little correction. And go then all the way back. This is very time consuming, I know, but it's amazing how it can do it. That's it. To be continued.